Hey everyone, how's it going? So in this video, I'd like to just talk about my experience in my very first engineering course and to just go over basically what I went through and the feelings I had and yeah, just let you guys know what it was like. So let's get to it. Okay, so my first engineering courses were when I was a sophomore. Um, I didn't have any engineering courses as freshman because I had gone to a different university. And at the time, I didn't know what I wanted to major in. I had talked about it in a previous video. I had gone into a, um, I guess, a course that determined what you were interested in, in terms of like the STEM field. So I had taken that course instead and I had taken general courses that were prerequisites for the STEM field. Um, so I had never really taken any ECE courses up until sophomore year. And that first year, I didn't know what I wanted to major in. And then by the second year, I had decided that I wanted to major in computer engineering. So the second year is when I actually went into these ECU courses to become a computer engineer. And I would say that the very first ECE course that I remember uh, for the fall 2016 semester was programming. I think it was ECE 10 or 105 or something like that. But uh, that class was very generic. I had known that it was gonna be like this. It wasn't very shocking or surprising to me. A lot of the students there were about my age. Um, there were a lot of students, probably about 100 to 200 people. And this was because it wasn't just for ECE um, students. It was also for uh, computer science students. And it was an introductory course. So a lot of the people were about my age and you know, 19, 20. So I didn't really feel out of, you know, out of place or anything like that. I just felt like another student, like this is just another class. It's just about programming instead. The only thing that I did notice, but I had already expected, was that there were more males than females. About like 80% of the students were males and about 20% were females. There weren't very many, but um, that's what I had expected. So I wasn't too shocked by that. And the professor just went over the syllabus. I'm like, okay, cool, that, that class is nice. However, one course that really stuck out and the very first ECE course that just is just drilled into my memory and I remember very vividly was ECE 300 and ECE 300 was differential equations. So the reason why I remember this so well is because I had gone into the classroom and I showed up. There were probably about hmm, eight people there already and I showed up like five minutes earlier. It was a very small room, probably about 20 to 30 chairs and I had been used to, you know, like auditorium rooms with a hundred plus people. So immediately I was you know, caught off guard. I generally sit in the back of the classroom. So that's where I go. I go to the seat towards the back and while I'm going there, I notice that these people, these eight people that are already there, they were all males. Okay. So I'm like, okay, they're, they're males. But then I also noticed that they weren't my age. They were in my age, meaning like they weren't in the age range of 19 to 22. They weren't in their early twenties. They looked like they were in their mid thirties. Or I even saw, I think one guy who looked like he was in his mid to late forties. So that was a shock. I had never been in a class with um, older students like that. Uh, so that was the first shock. And that's why I remember it. So as the time got closer to class starting, um, I noticed people coming in and I noticed every person that came in was a male. Um, it was a guy, you know, and it just kept coming in and filtering in and I'm looking around the spots and the seats are slowly filling up. There were probably about 30 seats, but they're slowly filling up with males. Finally, I see one girl, one other girl, a uh, female that walks in and she goes and sits like towards the front and the professor walks in and he starts lecturing and I'm just looking around um, and there's just all males and then me and one other girl. So that was the biggest shock. I knew that there was going to be a lot of males, but I just didn't expect the way I would feel. I didn't, you know, you know how it is when you know something and you hear about it, but it's a completely other thing when you actually experience it. So that's what happened. I was just kind of in shock and I felt very, oh, not only was I in shock, but because these people were older, a lot of them were older and they seemed more serious and focused. And I felt very intimidated. 
it was very intimidating to be in that class and to sit there and to look around and know that you're one of the younger females in the room. Granted, there was that other girl and that helped a lot, but I still felt kind of isolated in the class. I felt like I didn't fit in because of my gender. So because of that, it just was, you know, stuck in my mind and I just didn't expect it. So the class goes on. Um, the other thing that happened in that class is that like kind of threw me off guard was the professor ended up going over the syllabus for about 30 minutes. And because this course was like a 300 level course, a lot of the students had already been in college for about two years. This was like their third year, they were juniors. And I was just a sophomore. So it was also unusual for me to be in there because they were older and they had more experience in college and they had already taken other ECE courses. I just happened to be in this course because I had taken um, courses pre like pre prerequisites for my first year that just happened to roll into this new uh, college and I was able to take this upper division course even though I was a sophomore. So yeah, that, that was also another thing that was very intimidating is that I'm like, oh, these people know more information than me. They know more. And the professor, he knew that these students, you know, had already been here for a couple years. So he immediately, you know, goes over the syllabus real quick and about 30 minutes in, he's done with the syllabus and he starts writing down notes and he starts going over all the material in the book and class starts, you know, and I hadn't, I wasn't used to that. Generally, and this has been my experience, the whole first year as a college undergraduate uh, student, the professors would spend the first day going over the syllabus or even the first week sometimes, just going over the syllabus and telling the students like what they expect out of them and what they plan to do for the semester and everything like that. And then actual work and actual note taking doesn't take until like, or doesn't start until like the second week. This professor, no, he had decided to go through the syllabus in 30 minutes and then immediately start writing down the lecture notes and all that information on the whiteboard. And let me tell you, he was a writer. He wrote fast, went over the theorems and everything like that about differential equations. And I was over here just, trying to scribble as much as I could on my notebook. I just was just so overwhelmed that I didn't really, I tried to pay attention to what he was saying, but I couldn't because I didn't even understand what he was saying. Um, I just tried to write down as much as I could. And then I just thought to myself, I'll just look this over later. Another thing about being intimidated there is that feeling in the room, it felt like the other students because this is like an engineering course, you know, you, you go through this math and this material and it's, like you seem so smart. They had, they kind of gave off this sense of um, uh, superiority. They're actually listening and they're thinking about the material and they're asking questions and they're even challenging the professor. Like, wait a second, like, is that right? I, why is it like that and all that stuff? And I hadn't been used to that. Like I had been used to the other, like the typical college student goes to class, probably looks on their phone every now and then, looks at the professor acting like they're listening, but they're really not and then maybe talk to their friends to next to them or just sit there and not do anything or go on their laptop and start you know, doing something like that. So yeah, that was like the big wake up call that crap, I'm majoring in engineering. And I was just thinking, am I gonna get through it? I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pass. I don't think I'm gonna be able to pass. And that's what I was thinking to myself. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get this degree. This is, this is really tough. This material is just, way over my head, it's the first day and I didn't even understand anything the professor said. How am I even gonna get through the next three years? This is ridiculous, I don't, and these were like the thoughts that were just going through my mind just continuously for the rest of the day. Um, and I guess the only thing that made me really think about it and to actually stick with this degree and to just kind of push through it was, um, just thinking that, okay, I'm gonna take it day by day. And also knowing that I had already gone through a year of college and I didn't want, to have, like, I didn't want that to be a waste. I didn't want those courses that I had taken um, to be a waste and to just decide to change my major because, oh, I feel intimidated in this one class um, or anything like that because I had already paid for those courses. I already had taken those courses. I had already, you know, in my mind, wasted a year of my life <laughs> taking and, you know, working in those classes to pass them. And yeah, so I just decided I'm just going to stick through it, stick with it. 
I'm gonna take it day by day and I'm gonna just try the best that I can and I'm gonna try everything that I can in order to pass. I'll do everything. Like, But yeah, that was my first experience um, in the ECE course as a computer engineer. So I thought I'd share that with you guys and let you guys know that um, if you're feeling intimidated and you're feeling like you can't get through it or that, oh, this is too much, like you, you don't feel like you're smart enough, like you can't do it because you don't have the, you know, all the knowledge or anything like that, then don't, don't let that deter you. Don't let that take advantage of you because you can get through it. I had felt those exact same emotions when I was in that course. You'll be okay if you're feeling like this. So yeah, I thought I would just uh, go over that. And if you like this video and you found it useful, informative, if you'd like to know more information about the different courses, the other courses I had taken, um, please let me know in the comment section below and I'll definitely go over that. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.